So we're now going to talk a little bit about time management exams because this is something that is really crucial when you're in an exam room. Because a lot of marks are awarded for actually answering every single question rather than just doing really well. Because if you do really well on one question, you might get 70% for that. Whereas if you do average, you might get 40. And two average questions, therefore, is better than a really, really strong answer. So try your best to answer every question because you'll gain more marks that way than you will do by doing a lot for one and completely ignoring another of similar value. So ensure that you answer every question in the exam and try to give them the time they deserve. So to help do that, what I'd recommend doing is find out how long the exam is in total and how many questions there are going to be. And you can do a rough working out of how many minutes you have per mark. Then you can multiply that up by the amount of marks per question. And you can work out roughly how long to spend on each question. However, don't just spend all your time on the questions. In some exams, there are scenarios or reading, and make sure to actually plan time in to read those. And I'd recommend not just reading them once, but reading them twice to make sure you haven't misunderstood them, because understanding the question is really important. And the same goes to reading the exam question as well. Plan time in to properly read the question you've been given, because you want to make sure that you're answering on the right tracks and not just on what you've assumed. It can be very easy with all the nerves that you've got in the exam room to rush, but don't do this, stay calm and read through the information you're given. And this can help you in the exam to write at a pace which allows you to get your thoughts on the page properly without making small and silly mistakes. So something that I have found really useful in the past is to actually plan some buffer time at the end. And what I mean, what I mean by that is planning to finish around about 10 minutes early. And the reason for this is because if I am delayed, well, I've got 10 more minutes than I thought I would need to finish writing. And if I aren't delayed and I finish, I have extra time to check through all of my answers and to make sure everything I've done is okay. So to try and keep yourself from actually having to use that buffer time, when you're in the exam room, look at the time and the clock and work out when you need to move on to the next question. And at that point, wrap up the previous question really quickly and then move on to the next one. Because like I said at the start, answering all the questions helps you get more marks. And ultimately, something that I think is really, really important is to use all the time. I've been in a number of exams at university and quite a lot of the time people leave early. That's not a good use of their time. Don't worry if other people are leaving early, just focus on your own exam paper and use all the time you've been given to proofread and check your work. If you've read through it once or twice and you think you're confident and there's still some time left and you want to leave, then that's a decision that you can make. But do try and use as much time as you can and do have a look at your work to make sure you've not made any errors that you could rectify. So those are the piece of advice I have for time managing exams. I hope that you found them useful and good luck with your exams that you have.